Hmm, what to go after today? I want to switch it up, maybe something different. Oh, I got it. Let's go to the bait shop. All right, so I finally made it out here to the beach. I'm on the north shore of Long Island uh, today. And uh, I'm gonna walk down to that point up here a little bit. I'm gonna start fishing over there. So um, today I wanted to switch things up a little bit on the channel. I'm gonna do two things that I don't do too often, and that's fish with bait and go after porgy. There's been an abundance of porgy on the north shore of Long Island. You know, when summer's slow like this, ain't many fish around, there's always one fish you could count on, and that's porgy. But I'm gonna walk down to this point, get the bait ready, and let's go catch some fish. Okay, it's so time to gear up. So I picked up this Marathon Porgy rig, because I figure I don't go after these fish that much, and I didn't want to buy hooks and, you know, extra gear. I got this um, two drop rig, I'm gonna put the weight on it, it has a three way swivel. Should get the job done just fine. And I'm just gonna throw on a uh, one ounce sinker. Nothing too crazy here. I'm gonna start out with like small pieces first. See if anything's biting over here. Got these good old Rapala scissors, nice and sharp. Cuts right through that clam. Well, clam's soft to begin with, but can't go wrong with those scissors. All right, so we got our bait on. We're good to go. Let's see if there's some fish out here. So I'm just using my inshore rod today. I'm not using a rod holder or, or you know, a big uh, bait rod. I'm gonna just hold the rod and see if I could feel that bite if the porgy pick it up. We got an incoming tide right now. It's a, a full moon tide too, so current should be moving pretty strong with that tide coming in. It's gonna start coming up quick too. I think high tide's in another three hours, two hours. Fun part now is the waiting game. Of course, you guys aren't gonna have to wait. I'll be editing this, so you'll be good. It's definitely nice out this morning. We got a good um, wind blowing out of the southwest. So it's keeping the bugs down. Not too hot out. It's only in the low 70s. It's a great day for fishing. Yeah, fish on. Well, he's fighting pretty good. All right, first porgy of the morning. Feels like a nice one. All right. I love the color on these guys. Easy, I don't want to get a hook in my hand. These fish, you got to watch out for their dorsal fin up top there. They got some sharp spikes on them. Nice. This is a small one. I thought he was going to be a lot bigger. See the dorsal fin, it's down right now. But, alright, that's cool. We know they're biting over here. We gotta get a couple more now. We gotta get some big guys too. I was getting some 
some nice hits out there. Felt like some bigger fish. Are we getting bumps? Yeah, fish on. Ooh, he's he's pulling really good. This is definitely a bigger porgy. Wow. <laughs> Loosen up the drag a little for them. Oh wow, yeah, he's a nice one. Jumbo. Wow, look at this guy, dinner plate. Woo, big porgy here, he's flaring up. Awesome, love the colors on these guys too. They got like a blue, purple shine to them. Some green in there. Nice, this was a porgy we wanted. Nice jumbo. I'm not uh, keeping any of these fish either. I'm just doing catch and release. If you watch my channel, I pretty much only do catch and release. I don't like harvesting the fish. Oh, we got a fish on. Wow, I didn't even know. Man, I didn't feel no taps or nothing. Hey, he's pulling good. Oh no. Oh, I got broke off. Ah, <laughs> darn it. That's what happens when you fish around rocks. All right, well, I got another rig set up. I got a high-low rig. I'll just tie that on. All right, so that fish broke me off right from the braid. Clean cut on a rock out there. So put on a new leader, my uh, TA clip, and I hooked on my uh, high-low rig. See, it's got a bait high and low with the weight on the bottom. I normally, I like using this rig like off the kayak, jigging it and stuff, but it's not my first pick, you know, fishing from shore, but it is going to be be fine for now because that's all I got. And I didn't bring any other leader line with me, so hopefully I don't break off again. I would have to go walk all the way back to my car. I really don't feel like doing that right now. Oh, there we go. Fish on right away. This one we gotta keep above the rocks. Man, he's pulling good. Especially on the smaller inshore rod. Oh no, we got a sea robin. Darn it. Man, we just can't get away from these guys. Well, we got a sea robin. Did not, did not plan on getting those guys. All right, I gotta get this little tangle out, rebait up. Ooh, had some some bumps there. They found my bait. Yeah, fish on. Shaking a lot, so I think it's a porgy. He's got some fight to him, too. Ooh. He 
<laughs> nice. Alright, so high low rig's working. That's good. <laughs> Alright. Got another porgy. He was a small one, nothing crazy. Look at this, you can get a boat coming in near me. Man, even for Porgy, they come spot chasing. Yeah, fish on. <laughs> yeah. Nice, we got a pretty decent sized porgy. Nice, he's he's a borderline almost a jumbo. Nice. Feels like a nice porgy. Oh yeah, it's a jumbo. Ooh, we've been we've been slaying the jumbos today. bleeding a little bit so get him back in right away oh yeah it's right off the bat there we go fish on like it could be another jumbo yeah he's he was a nice size one yeah he was he's not as big as some of the other jumbos I was catching but Definitely a nice size porgy. Awesome. These are awesome fish, man. They're great little fighters, I guess, because they got this big tail on the back. They could really pull hard. Well, I think I still got some bait on these hooks. I'm just going to throw it back out, see if I can get one more. And I think that's going to be it. Tough trying to get these guys. They hit that bait so quick and let go. They are known for being bait snatchers. Steal that bait right off the hook. Oh, there we go. We got him. <laughs> yeah, he was a little one. Nice. Well, I think that's going to be it for me then. I had fun catching these guys. It's fun to switch it up on the channel a little bit. But one thing I recommend, like right here, I have some leftover clam. Don't just leave, you know, your bait container on the beach. Clean up after yourselves. We throw that in the water, give some free food to the fish. No seagulls, so that's good, but... Yeah, don't, don't leave the containers on the beach. I see that way too much. 
Always so much garbage on the beach and people shouldn't do that. Let's keep our beaches clean. So, um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was fun um, switching it up, you know, today. There was a ton of porgy out here on the North Shore. I mean, if you just want to go out and bend the rod, this is the fish to go for. Tons of fun. And when you size it down, too, use um, lighter tackle. Like, I have a 7-foot rod only. Man, it makes it a ton of fun fighting these fish in. But, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks for watching.